Good morning everybody and a happy Easter to you all. I'm filming this video purely because I wanted to show you the eggs I managed to get from Tesco's this morning. I didn't actually get given any eggs per se for Easter, I basically got given a bit of money and things, but I did go and treat myself to some eggs so I thought I'd show you them today. I picked up a twirl dairy milk, no, a Cadbury's twirl even, I thought of dairy milk because that's who, who the, what they also make. Um, this actually comes with an egg and I believe maybe one or oh, two bars. So I mean amazing anyway, but twirl's one of my one of my favourite chocolates, so definitely a winner. Also managed to get a Maltesers one, which gives you two bars as well, and obviously the gigantic egg that you get in the box, so I was very much looking forward to having that. And then one that I've not actually seen before, the box is a little bit battered, but M&M's Crispy. I didn't know they did an M&M's Crispy Easter Egg. So I'm like ecstatic to be quite honest because I really like crispy M&M's so I'm kind of hoping this is going to just be M&M heaven in a box because I'm not a fan of the nutty M&M's. I'm always a crispy fan. So, But yeah, thought I'd show you those. Those were actually three for eight pounds in my local Tesco Express. So quite a good deal for three Easter Eggs, I thought, considering they were four pounds each. So it would have been... £12 for the three but I managed to get £4 off so winning but yeah hopefully you've all had a wonderful Easter and this video is going to be a bit of a mixture of things so I hope you enjoy and I'll see you soon. Hello there and welcome to a random angled video. I'm actually about to open my massive parcel from the works as we come on the side there and I thought I would open it on camera for you all. Now I have no idea how I'm going to go about opening this because it's huge but I thought I would open it on camera and show you. I mean the box alone is bigger than my head so you know. It's uh, actually quite mad how big the box is for this. Here we go. I think we might be in. And we're in. So, we open the box. Goodness me. This box is huge. And we have bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. Goodness me, lots of bubble wrap. And then... Um, because of how basically the UK is at the moment, I decided I would treat myself to some more jigsaws. So I did actually purchase three of these. Um, they're by Treffle, so they're a new new brand to me. I don't think I've got any Treffle ones that I can see. Oh no, I've done one Treffle one so far. So this one is just like a nice churchy type jigsaw, um, and that's a 500 piece. I also treated myself to a cat's one. So there's a kitty cat one in the garden. That's also a 500 piece. And I also picked up one more because I really do like these kind of things. Um, I picked up one wolf one as well. So I ended up with a wolf one, a kitty cat one. And can I balance this one? And the church one. So... There are three of these. These were, I think they were, I'm tempted to say £5 each. I think they were meant to be £7 each, but I managed to get them down to £5 each because I managed to find a voucher. So they were £5, basically a jigsaw, and I just thought they'd keep me going. So I've got three new jigsaws to use and a box that I can recycle when the recycling bins are emptied. So yeah, just thought those would be really good to have. And... They're all by Treffle, so if you do want to find any of these, I'll make sure they're linked in the description below. The one thing I will say is please be aware that the works don't have all of their jigsaws available at the moment because I've been through the website and a lot of the buttons will say you can add it to the basket and then it will come up underneath with a little message saying out of stock. But if you are interested in buying some jigsaws, then please feel free because I'm certainly going to be buying multiple new ones when I've done all these so I've currently got eight still to do I know this is going to be a bit mad because I'm now up to 11 but I've got eight I can still do so I'm going to try and get those done and then I'll probably shift those on and sell them on to other people 
so these will become the next ones in the pile once I've done all the others so I'm actually staging it up to a thousand pieces at the moment so the next jigsaw I'm planning to do in fact let me show you all the jigsaws I currently have so Hold on, one more. So these are the ones I currently haven't done. So I have a feline friend, Jigsaw. I have Harry Potter thousand pieces that I'm going to be doing soon. A wildlife world with loads of different wildlife animals on it. A prowling leopard Jigsaw. I think I got given that for my birthday or Christmas, I'm not entirely sure. Um, a Noah's Ark puzzle, this was I think from Aldi originally, I think the Noah's Ark was definitely an Aldi one. Um, I have a fireworks over Westminster, I just thought that would be a nice one to do. I have a Bridges collection jigsaw, this bridge is actually Ponte Vecchio in Florence, so that would be an interesting one. And this is actually my next project. Um, I have a dolphin one as well, so I do have plenty that I've already done which are currently on the top shelf on my bookshelf. If I remember I'll try and insert some photos at the end, but these are all the ones I've still got to do. So I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you soon.